What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. I'm Carl Fisher, and this is Elio. Oh, we are working on the ramp truck today. Elio's idea. Um, he's like, man, we gotta like change it up in here. We've been working on the Zephyr. You've seen a little bit on the Zephyr. Plan is to try and get more and more stuff done on the Zephyr. So we're gonna get this ramp truck done enough for now. I know some of you guys will be sad about that, but we're just gonna like make it run and drive today, drive it out of the shop, rearrange the shop a bit so that we can just kind of keep going on the Zephyr. Um, and, and I think we're gonna put it here. So um, what's going on today, bud? What do we gotta do? So we have to redo the steering arm, the, what would you call that? The what link would you call it? That's the, the drag link, I think. The drag link, so right here, that's not gonna work. And then the front, so we're gonna adapt this to a heim joint. Yeah. And then that'll go to there, and then bleed the brakes. Yeah, so, then, yeah, exactly. We, yeah. We, we, don't have, um, we don't have a proportion valve for it, but we're just gonna make this thing like have brakes. Um, this is not the right length. So we don't have full steering on it right now. So yeah, we're just gonna exactly put put a heim joint there and uh, make a new steering arm. And then hopefully drive this thing out of the shop. Like it's just gonna be a putt in the yard, but it'll be monumental. Yeah, yeah it'll be epic. A quick little intermission here, guys. Uh, before we get started in the video, I'm really excited. I'm going to Texas September 15th to 17th. This is San Antonio, Texas. We're gonna to go to Bare Bones Garage, Christian Sosa, Sosa Metal Works, as well as my friend Chris Galan from San Antonio. Bare Bones Garage is his place. We're all gonna do a metal shaping and chop class together, 15th to 17th. You can go online right now at sosametalworks.com and you can sign up. There's only 12 spots available. They're gonna go like that. And I cannot wait to see you guys there. We're gonna have so much fun. We've got Friday night, we're gonna have a barbecue. There's gonna be a bunch of hot rods that are gonna come out at Bare Bones Garage. Then Saturday all day, Sunday all day, we are going to chop a super sweet little Model A sedan as well as do hand metal shaping techniques. We're gonna go over shrinking, stretching, forming, planishing, English wheel, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, as a uh, beginner metal shapings course for anybody who's interested. So hopefully I'll see you there and let's get into this video. Okay, so now we gotta count our steering to put the steering box in the center of its travel. And then with the wheels straight and the steering box in the center of its travel, that's how long we gotta make our bar. Right, so um, yeah, Ellie, you're gonna count all the way. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna mark it on the steering box with a marker, okay? That's our length. I'll go get a tip measure. So our center to center on this bad boy. You wanna grab center of that? Got it? 36 and three quarters. Okay. So this is what we found to use. This is just like a large Cromoly Heim joint. Uh, nice weld and bung, and then I went with some overkill DOM tubing. 
So we're going to cut that end off. We will still retain our adjustability in this end. And then um, we are gonna put this on and sleeve it somehow so that it's not just butt welded two tubes together. Like I might, I might actually lay this down to slide inside this and then plug weld it would be probably the safest way to go. You're at 10, so yeah, you're going this way. Yeah. There's 50, 60, 70. Let it eat.
Okay, so we got the arm made. It's installed. These plug welds are for safety. You know, you plug weld this stuff as like an added just in case a weld broke or something like that. This is way overkill, but can't be too careful, especially with steering. Um, that's all done. The next thing we're gonna do is bleed brakes. Um, Elio tried getting these things off. They are super stuck. You gotta be so careful with stuff like this. They're like delicate little bleeder screws. You can't really see it. Anyway, trust me that it's there, but um, we're gonna torch them, heat them up, make them nice and, nice and expanded and try and get those off. Uh, once we get all those cracked, we'll probably bring the cab down, I guess. Yeah. Um, we can fill that master from the hole in the center of the cab. And yeah, I guess that's it. Like we're just gonna, yeah. Actually, we gotta bench bleed that master or no? No, it's still full of fluid. Yeah, it's from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still totally full of fluid. Um, so yeah, that's it. Then we're gonna, we're gonna use a vacuum bleeder. This is a, um, helps especially like with huge long runs. You hook this up to vacuum and it actually creates vacuum and sucks through the bleeder. So you start off with your farthest away from the master, which would be rear passenger side. And uh, you pull all the fluid through and then you go rear driver side and then you go front passenger side and uh, so on and so forth. Then we can actually start our pumping and uh, pressure bleeding. This one doesn't seem to be pulling any fluid. Huh? Right now? No, I just got air bottle. What's that? I got air up here. We shouldn't be getting air up there from this, but. 
No, this isn't pulling. Can you hit the uh, hit the pedal? Oh no, here we go. Now we're pulling. Yeah, we're pulling. We're good. Yep. Yeah, it's like it's like the brake master needs to be adjusted, like the um, like the arm or something doesn't come up high enough and you pull the arm higher. Okay. Okay, pumping. Top it up and then pumping. Okay, whenever you're ready, homie. Yeah, Cool. <laughs> We're still gonna have manual brakes and manual steering because I got the wrong belt, unfortunately. So we tried putting the belt on just a little too tight. Whoopsie! Arriba! Sound sinking! Okay, pumping. Three long pumps and a hold. Yeah, down. Wow, no air bubbles. Uh, are, you, are you making brake pressure? No. Okay, pumping. It's very slow return. Okay. Pumping. You're holding? Okay, pumping. Got, I don't think I got much fluid there. Oh, shit, where was that? Forgot to do a lineup or something? I just heard this oh, it's this. Uh, okay, okay, hold it down. Yeah. Oh, it's the caliper itself just blew. Go ahead, do it again. Oh, yeah, caliper. No way. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's dripping out of the actual caliper, not, not that well. Dang it! Dang it! I guess, what do you do then? I guess, what do you do? Get a caliper. Lordco, let's go. Going to Lordco to get a caliper, I guess.
<laughs> so after all that, man, what a, what a day. Um, <laughs> I totally forgot I took the brake pads out of here. So when we were pumping, we were just like pushing the piston right out of the caliper and ramming it into the rotor. And that's when the piston went too far and started leaking fluid. So um, I ripped the boot on this caliper. Can't return the expensive caliper that I picked up. And so now I gotta go back to the parts store, get some pads, brake pads. Um, yeah, there were no brake pads in here. That was our issue. So. La -di -da. But uh, while I'm there, I'm gonna go get a belt so that we have power steering, power brakes. So maybe that's why I messed that up. Okay, so uh, I threw this caliper on, realized this caliper that I got that they gave me is a dual piston front caliper. Originally it was a single piston front caliper. The brake hose is shorter on the single piston because it has to reach all the way down here for the dual piston front caliper. So went back to Lordco for a thrice time and got another caliper for the other side, which actually is a, um, it's funny. The calipers on this truck, get this, um, all four wheels all same part number all so how easy is that that caliper could go on there could go on there could go on there exact same one dual piston calipers all the way around it's got wicked brakes now i guess but anyway i went back to the store got one for the other side and hoses longer hoses so um that's it i'm just gonna like huck the brakes on it we're gonna bleed it this thing's gonna drive it's gonna be amazing Another trip to Lordco. <laughs> the wrong brake hoses. Dang it! These are really long brake hoses that it needs. And it needs one that mounts here and it mounts here. This one has a, a different type of mount that it, it looks like it would be fine this way, but it doesn't have the length and the second mount. So back to Lordco. Dang it. Yeah, it's been a day. Definitely, uh, definitely been a struggle. So I went back to Lordco. They didn't have the brake lines that I needed, the uh, brake hoses. So I went to Mopac. Uh, I'm driving the hot rod at this time, keep in mind. And got some Russell fittings. Um, I got like the, uh, the ends so that we can clip them into the clip area by the hard line. Threads the hard line into that. Then some uh, Dash 3 um, high pressure stainless braided lines, and then just the, uh, the banjos for the ends. On the way back, I stripped the distributor gear, or totally broke the distributor gear on my hot rod and was stranded. So thank you, Riley, for saving me and flat towing me home. It wasn't dangerous at all. <laughs> okay, now maybe I'll get some brakes on.
I tried this already once and I just swapped the lines because the steering was all of a sudden extremely, extremely difficult. So I called my buddy Blake at uh, uh, Lions Autocraft and he explained to me which lines were which and I had them definitely ha like hooked up backwards. So maybe, maybe my lines on the, on the actual steering box are backwards as well. I don't know. Seems weird. Like right now, I can't, can't even move the steering wheel. Just called my buddy Blake again. So uh, I guess I couldn't have got it more wrong. These were also wrong. Those two were in the wrong spots. So swap those while I was on the phone with him. Um, yeah, now we're gonna try and fire it up and see if, see if it works now. I don't know. Maybe Maybe there's another hurdle. connected to the red wire, purple wire momentarily connected to the red wire. I got the steering done. Aren't you happy? Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Can you turn it left and right? <laughs> 